Hey everybody, welcome to the 2021 Big Rip Classic presented by Discraft and Grip EQ. We have round two action. I am Andy Burns with Alex Cease. Good to be back, Andy. Exactly. Always good to be back, especially with a round like this. We witnessed a uh, course record from Josh Patan. Uh, Silas is right on him. Cam's right behind him. Then you got a, just a group of people all right in there in the mix. Uh, round two will be at Eagle's Nest here on the Little Black Creek campground. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Excited, Excited to see these guys. Yeah. One, two, three, Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a coat. Is that it? Anyway, <laughs> par three, hole one. 320 feet uh most players gonna take the wide hyzer kind of over the water not quite over the water maybe Uh, just kind of land it on the other side of these trees not much to it unless you kind of saw it off early but we'll see how they attack it most of this is going to come down to how how are you putting today Right. right maybe a bit of a shorter course but see what happens there goes Joshua, starting off our card. Big Spike Kaiser testing the OBs, having it fade back left. It's a good shot. I mean, a little bit short, but you should have a good look at two and get the, the putting stroke established early on. It's kind of nice. So Yeah, and he had it going on in round one. Yeah, he did. Silas following him up. Pushed that a little bit farther, but that's still a great shot. Yeah, he'll, he'll have a... A decent look, just backside. This kind of looks like the angle that you want. That's looking nice. Yeah. Sticks it. Good start there by Cam. This is RC Row. JC. JC. Yep. But now it's going to be RC. Now it's RC. I was just thinking about, you know, the toys. It- like to play with them, so I mean, RC Cola, yeah. Oh, true. Mm. Uh, Silas, not, not thrilled with that effort. Joshua likes that, though. Yeah, and that's that's gonna be scary if he's yeah. if he's on as much as he was yesterday. That was a fantastic round. Definitely check that out if you guys haven't. We got round one coverage. Good putt there by. Row to JC AK JC RC. RC row. Good way to start the, the round, get your two. Yeah, JC, another player who kind of has some sneaky skill to his game that he can light it up if you're not paying attention. That was no way. That was sneaky on all bad accounts that looked like a pretty good putt I mean yeah that was a good putt what do you do I think you you just gotta move on to the next one and don't even think about it I guess yeah easier said than done but definitely speaking of the next one hole number two par three dead even 400 foot shot Uh, as you can see the drone flying here again shout out to counterspin disc for the drone coverage check out their their channel for the chase card action this is kind of a you know multiple routes you can take here just pick your poison left right center yep josh not having much trouble no looks like cam will be taking that right route as well Uh, flips up he's calling for it to get stable and yeah fade a little right hit a tree and uh not terrible though it's a little short A little sarcastic. Yeah. Uh, yes, after the throw, but good tree hit. Yeah. So the OB does kind of come up over there. I guess it's the road. So I was putting a move on this, looking nice. Let's see if it finds a tree. Still a good throw, but still some work left for these guys. Yeah, I think for the for most of the players, they are taking that right side, which does bring more trees into play, but. If you go straight up the gut, you risk that chance of skipping left into the road. So right. it takes that out of the equation, at least. Hmm. Almost rings it up from downtown. It's a good bid right there. Yeah. Gave it the height. Just a little too much. So 
Joshua can cash this. Mm. That's the rare uh, yeah. air ball. I haven't seen many of those from him this uh, tournament so far, but. That's back to where he was. Yeah, back to. Uh, let's see if we can cash this in. That's it. Wow, good concentration. Yeah, you can really let that slip away and turn into a four or five putt, and that's just it's not ideal. But way yeah. to save it. You uh, might have seen some umbrellas out in the background. Can oh. ask. Sounds Probably like here. there's a little crackling going on there, you yeah. know? Yeah, here's some raindrops on nearby umbrellas. Yeah, so the, the grip the, must be a little, might be a little bit of an issue for these guys this, this second round. Good putt there from JC. Yeah, yeah the weather uh, for the whole weekend leading up to this weekend kind of looked like rain the whole way. But uh, we're going to take a quick break and be right back. reps, signs, spanners, magnets, and more. You can have it all at Signs First. Signs First of Hattiesburg and Laurel is all about quality and speed. With our equipment, what may take the other guys days can take us only hours. We now have a drive-in bay to make sure your vehicle wrap is done right without worrying about the weather. So to make sure your project is completed accurately, on time, and on budget, come see us at Signs First located in the Westover Shopping Center in Hattiesburg or on 16th Avenue in Laurel. All right, welcome back. Here is hole number three, 223 feet, par three. You got the road to your right, that path to your left. The basket kind of sits back there in the corner, so not much to this, just stay in bounds. And uh, the last hole, hole number two, was one of only two holes averaging over par this round. So they, they kind of struggled with it and you can see why. Now, yep, now you see why. But this one looks like to be on the opposite end of that. So guys are going to be wanting to take advantage of this relatively shorter. Still a little technical, though, with the OBs and the trees on the fairway. But, uh-oh. Yep. Looks like that leaked up. Yeah, just kind of early the whole way. Yeah. That's looking nice, though. Yeah, and she's set. She's in. Yep, it's a good play. Getting all the way to the basket in distance kind of jeopardizes, you know, going out of bounds right. left to right. But he he managed that really well, as did Josh. Yeah, going with this uh, his forehand, he seems to be very comfortable with the forehand. So yeah, which can be a scary thing playing in the woods against yeah. somebody like that. So. Yeah. Wow, Jay great save. save. Slam dunk from downtown. A, a very rare thing to see. Yeah. Not from JC, just... Just in general. I don't know. Silas, uh... Starting off a little cold on the putting green and looking to turn it around here, but... Yeah, you wonder if... What happened on hole one? Just kind yeah. of the basket's fault, if that yep. gets in your head at all, or if that was just... Just a, a missed putt like we mentioned before. But two twos, two threes. And Once again, just an excellent save there by JC on the going out of bounds that far back, saving the par on a shorter hole. It's competition time. Let's see it. Yep. Going to hole number four, 265 feet, par three. The drone is taking this left side where most players are probably going to throw. Just that wide forehand. Uh, you can take the, the middle gap, but it's super tight. And Cam is doing that actually. Wow. Because that looks. If you can throw it like yeah, that. It slows down enough and what a shot. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's a tight gap. Yeah. This is probably the more routine play, I would think. Hanging out left. Let it uh, just get back towards the basket. Nice shot there by Joshua. Yeah, definitely routine for him. Yeah. Rose following him up, pushing a little further and hoping she'll sit, and she does. Yeah. Great shot. Yeah, it is. I like JC's 
his his game. It's real compact on on both sides, backhand and forehand. Ooh, that had some funky action. Yeah, she sat in, so everyone's down looking at a good two right here. Up by JC. A little low, but it's in the basket. It counts, so you just move on to the next. Ooh, that almost spit that through. Almost went through. Silas is having a little bit of an unlucky venture on the green today, and <laughs> if making had, good putts. But you if know. that had spit through, yeah, after missing the last one and what happened on hole one, it would uh, it would have to be in your head at that point. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And Josh gonna try to round the card out for the star frame, I believe. That's right. Yeah. It's a little spoiler alert there with the scorecard. Nice putt. And the star frame. Well yeah, execution. So, so now he has a one-stroke lead over Cole Glazer. Uh, but everybody else is kind of right there with him. Yeah. It's going, a tight race. Yeah, it is. Going into hole number five, 268 feet. Another par three. Uh, most most of the holes on this course on nests are threes. But... Most players are going to take the right side, kind of fade something in. There is this little barbed wire type fence on the left side that, it, that is out of bounds, which could sneak up pretty quickly if you're not careful. There's Cam going with the backhand. Yeah. Control, finesse, you name it, Cam's got it. What a shot. <laughs> this sounded like a perfect ad. Ooh, just barely Another missing that tree. Excellent shot by Joshua. Taking the CTP for now. Let's see if JC can follow him up. This is leaking a little early. That's it. Wow. <laughs> little halfsies. Yeah. But she's in. Yeah. Get that relief from the barbed wire too, I assume. So she'll be looking at it too as well. Or Silas. That's a smooth putter throw. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think he takes the CTP. What a shot. Yeah, so it does, he, he does have his two meters since it is barbed wire. Barbed yeah. wire. Barb. You say something enough, it just sounds wrong. Mm hmm. I agree with that. Everyone's tapping in there too now. Just a very well executed hole once again, back to back star frames. Yep, and uh, <laughs> talking about the twenty-five dollars again. I think well, we're gonna need to up at the thirty. We gotta make ourselves unique, right? Yeah, I mean, it must not be too much out of their pockets if they're just gonna continue to star frame everything. But going on to number six, two hundred seventy feet. This is gonna be played as a wide hyzer. You do have the fence over there again, which is out of bounds, but you don't want to be early and left into these trees because you get a disc in there, you can't even see out. So This is actually one of the more challenging holes. Uh, uh, take that back. This is actually one of the more easy holes. Fourth easiest hole. Hmm. He liked it, but just got it a little too wide and high. JC getting into yeah. this one. Uh, looks like it took the elevator up and didn't come back down until it was out of bounds. So, but I think he's close enough to the to the basket. He could save his three. Oh yeah, that's yeah, fine. Good shot. Josh with a long look. Can you ring it up? Good bid. Safe. Tap in, take your three. All right, so JC's a little further back than I thought. This will be hard-earned for hopefully par save. Ooh, that was a good look. Yeah, it looked good. When he let go of it, I thought it was in. So unfortunately, he'll be picking up that four. Good putt. Silas looks like he's uh, dialing it in, getting his putt stroke going. Having a little bit of misfortune on the green with the... Some nasty spits and starting to find it again. Yeah, and he's a, he's a player that he's got the distance. 
he's got the, the variety of shots to play with anybody. Right. And if he if he's got his putter going, then watch out. Yeah, big time. Okay, so there you see JC taking the bogey. Silas and Cam coming away with the birdies, and we've got a tie at the top, 17. Going into number seven, 261 feet. Uh, shout out again to Counterspin Discs on the flyovers. Uh, this hole, unique, got the little hanging basket, as you'll see once we get here. Not much to the hole, straight, just a straight shot. Get something to maybe land it early and slide. Uh, but some players might even play the trees at the back as a backstop. It's off the right side tree there, but he should have a look. Looks like Silas is going with the putter flip up. That's good height. Ooh, mm. he's chasing it. Wow. That'd be uh, an impressive ace. Yeah, that'd be hanging cool. basket. That's that's when you tell your grandkids when you're older, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, mm. Joshua leaves it left. Fortunate kick back out to the fairway where he can at least possibly have a long look at two, but you know, he's should be saving that three. Great shot. Yeah, good control there. No, electing for just to take his medicine, walk out with the three and move on to the next. Yeah, this hole actually playing as the second easiest of the round, so I don't know if you mentioned that already. I did not. Good to know. I mean, the distance itself, it's yeah, you know, kind of a chip shot. Still got to execute. That's right. Yep. Good put by JC. Yeah, I always find these holes interesting. You know, the hanging basket or like the baskets in the ground or. Super elevated baskets. You know, I feel like there's different opinions on them, but I like them. I mean, yeah, you know, I do too. It's different. Yeah, it changes things up. Yeah. Everybody's got to play on it. Yeah. So it's all, it's a balance. Yeah. And it spices up the course. You know, it's, mm -hmm. stuff like that is fun. You remember it. That's right. Going into a, a memorable hole, if you want to put it that way, hole number eight, 236 feet. Uh, big dog leg to the right with that mando on the tree that you can see there that adds wow. a great deal of difficulty to this shot that looks like a bit of a jail over on the uh, off the fairway so it'll be interesting to see these guys if they find themselves over there yeah they have a look or uh, if even pars well I guess it's a shorter hole so pars should still be in question but definitely yeah. taking the yeah. two out of the way just a very interesting shot shape that you need for this hole. Yeah, it's you got to make that corner, but you can't go too too far because those the backside trees come right. into play. So it's, something's got to be able to just fade without like almost coming backwards. It's very interesting. He stays out. Yeah, I mean JC and Josh, there. I'm not sure how you get much closer. Mm. I'm sure it was done multiple times. Yeah. But. At least for this card. Mm. Oh, okay. Proved me wrong. I didn't think he was going to have a look like that. Yeah. Mm. What a putt. From the jungle into the basket. That's the way you do it. <laughs> he said, what putting woes? <laughs> Good putt there by Josh. He's got that fist pumping. Yeah. He's <laughs> he, feeling it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> These baskets. Bounce. Man, they're a little cranky today, huh? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Multiple instances now. It's a good putt, but... That's everybody besides Cam taking the two, Cam taking the three, and moving on to hole number nine. Yeah, so we got a par four. Uh, I believe the first par four of this uh, this course, 420 feet. Um, once you get to where we kind of change directions, there you got you got a couple options. You got a couple landing zones as well. Try to get to one of those and 
really just dodge the trees. Depending on where your disc ends up off the tee, you kind of are forced one direction or the other. Right. This looks like Silas is going with the backhand turnover. Ooh, that had some speed coming out, but he finds that right side. Yeah, it did. Would have loved to see where that ended up. Yeah. JC going with the flex forehand. I like this play. Yeah, around that first grouping of trees and oh wow, yeah, good shot. Might have a little two look there, huh? Yeah, maybe outside chance for sure. Joshua following him up with that flex line. That was like identical. But yeah, a little more speed, a little more distance, but two great landing zones for these guys to be in. Looks like Cam's doing the flex forehand line. Does he miss it? Uh, I think he might have hit. Yeah, got a little kiss on the left yeah. side. Silas in there. So back in the jungle, baby. There you go. Forehand roller looked like his only option, and it gets stuck up one of the first trees off the fairway. Fortunate, but... Yeah. See if you can save par here. On... Not the easiest upshot after your... I don't know. Hmm. I think you'll be inside the edge, but... There's a lot of trees you got to deal with there, so you very well could could be behind one. Okay, I'm asking it to push, and it does. Rolls up, curls up. Great shot. All right. Outside look for a two. He's jump putting. That's going to be a pretty easy three right there. Yeah. Nice. Well played. Nice play to hold there by JC. Joshua as well with the jump putt. Yeah, he, he was able to give it a little run there. Yeah. Silas having the work here, stretching out. Just that one tree mm -hmm. perfectly placed right where he wants to put it. So, yep. Know that pain. That's tough. <laughs> wow. He almost put that one left. Yeah. Got to be a little frustrated, you think, right? I mean, but it happens. Yeah, it does. And, I mean, he's he's yeah, fighting. He, he's only three back. He was, yeah. he was one behind there. He's You know, he's got it for sure. He's got it in his game. Yeah. So that is it for round two, front nine. Josh, Cam, sitting at 19, Silas and JC, not far behind at all. Uh, back now is going to be fun. Got some yeah. really cool shots. It's going to be interesting to see uh, where these guys push and uh, see where they finish up for the final round. But come join us back for the back nine round two here.